Hello and welcome back to our channel. I am Shiraz and you're watching Currency Corner YouTube channel. Hopefully you all will be fine. Let's start today information. Could the Iraqi dinar and Michigan's Iraqi community shape the future? Recently, there's been quite a stir around the Iraqi dinar, with speculation that it could soon gain traction in global financial markets. Some rumors suggest a major shift could happen as early as Tuesday or Wednesday. For those following the news, it's tempting to think that these developments might tie into U.S. election timing. But according to sources in the Middle East, these moves appear entirely independent. Iraqi leaders, including Prime Minister Sadani, are focusing on their own nation's economic needs and goals. They've marked December 10th, Victory Day, as a target date to complete this currency transition, hinting that Iraq could be on the cusp of significant change. Historically, the Iraqi dinar hasn't had much visibility on the global economic stage. Imagine having a locked treasure chest sitting in the corner of a room, unopened for years. That's somewhat how the dinar has been viewed on platforms like Forex. Although the dinar is circulated in Iraq, it hasn't been widely traded internationally. Now, however, there's serious talk of change. The Central Bank of Iraq, CBI, has been laying out plans to stabilize the dinar with what's known as an exchange rate peg. In essence, this peg would help control the currency's value by regulating liquidity within Iraq. The goal is to make the dinar a symbol of economic stability and, potentially, position it as a stronger player in global financial markets. Between October 15th and 18th, CBI implemented a plan to better control the flow of dinar within Iraq. This strategic dance, as some are calling it, is designed to strengthen Iraq's economy from within ensuring there's a stable supply of currency to meet the country's needs while laying a foundation for growth. For currency traders and those with an interest in foreign exchange, this move is like a plot twist in an economic drama. It suggests that the dinar could soon become a currency with real trading potential on platforms worldwide. However, the significance of this development goes beyond money. It's also a statement about Iraq's intent to build a resilient economy that can stand more independently. Imagine the change like planting a tree. For years, that tree has been tended to, watered, and patiently nurtured. Now it's beginning to bloom, ready to show its potential. That's the sense of anticipation building around the dinar today. This shift might not bring immediate flashy results, but over time, it could lead to meaningful growth for Iraq and perhaps a more respected status for the dinar on the global stage. Small steps in monetary policy often set off broader ripples, and this could be one of those moments where Iraq's currency gains newfound recognition in international markets. For those of us outside Iraq, the takeaway is to stay tuned to these developments. This transformation is still in its early stages, but staying informed could be beneficial especially for those interested in currency markets or international economic trends. Could Michigan's Iraqi community play a decisive role in U.S. elections? Now let's shift our focus to a surprising angle in U.S. politics. There's a chance that a community thousands of miles away could play an influential role in the upcoming presidential election. The community in question? Michigan's Iraqi-American population, which may be poised to affect the 2024 race, in a significant way. As part of his campaign, former President Donald Trump made a promise that resonated deeply with many Iraqis, both in Iraq and in the diaspora. He pledged to curb Iran's influence in Iraq, an issue many Iraqis see as an obstacle to stability and progress for their country. Iran's involvement in Iraq has been a long-standing source of tension, with many Iraqis feeling that their nation's growth is being stifled. For the Iraqi community in Michigan, Trump's stance on this issue is particularly compelling and could potentially sway their votes in his favor. So why does Michigan matter so much? It's a critical swing state, one where even a slight shift in voting patterns can change the overall outcome. In previous elections, Michigan's races have been close, with outcomes decided by just a small margin of votes. This makes every vote crucial, and when the Iraqi community's unique concerns align with one candidate's platform, it could have a ripple effect. Trump's promises around limiting Iran's influence have put him in a favorable light with many Iraqi American voters in Michigan, who see his position as directly addressing one of their top priorities. On the other hand, Vice President Kamala Harris offers a broader, more diplomatically focused approach to international issues. 
For Iraqi voters in Michigan, this presents a complex decision. Trump represents immediate action on an issue that hits close to home, while Harris brings a steady, long-term perspective that appeals to those who prefer a broader international outlook. For this community, the choice isn't just about American politics. It's personal, affecting their families and their futures, both in the U.S. and in Iraq. They are looking at this election as a pivotal moment, one that could shape the course of both countries. Michigan's Iraqi community finds itself in a unique position. They may be a deciding factor in one of the most consequential elections in U.S. history. If their votes swing toward Trump, it could reflect a community's concerns impacting the national stage in a rare and powerful way. For many in Michigan's Iraqi community, this election is a chance to make their voices heard on an issue that matters to them deeply, one that extends beyond borders. So could Michigan's Iraqi community make history this election season? If they do, it would be a powerful example of how the concerns of a single community can have wide-reaching effects. It's a reminder that every group's vote matters and that sometimes the issues of a single community have the potential to change the course of a nation. What do you think about these unfolding events? Both the changes around the Iraqi dinar and the unique influence of Michigan's Iraqi community in the U.S. election are examples of how local and global dynamics often intersect. Let's continue this conversation and feel free to share this with anyone who'd find these developments interesting.